Well, we continued the warming trend today, made it up to 51 degrees in Lincoln. Now for the majority of the afternoon, we were in the upper 40s, but in the late afternoon hours during our earlier newscast, there was just about a, a 10 to 15 minute period where uh, the Lincoln Airport said, nope, just kidding. We're getting up to the middle 50, uh, excuse me, the low 50s uh, in Beatrice got up to 45 degrees. It was a little cooler out that way because some of the sun's energy energy went into melting snow uh, as opposed to heating up the air. Now where we had less snow, temperatures got really warm. 59 degrees was the high in Grand Island, many locations locations out towards the Tri-Cities uh, getting in the upper 50s this afternoon. Won't be the case tomorrow because we had a cold front pass through this evening. Temperatures have dropped to the 20s in the capital city and statewide temperatures everywhere are cold. We even see some single digits in northern Nebraska, currently 8 degrees in O'Neill, 7 in Valentine. It's also breezy or windy, I should say, behind the front. Uh, 55 miles per hour, that's the current wind gusts in Norfolk, uh, 43 in Lincoln, 41 uh, miles per hour in O'Neill, and those are going to stick with us into the overnight hours, so you may hear the wind uh, hitting against your exterior walls in the overnight hours, eventually starting to gradually taper off by tomorrow morning, but still windy throughout much of the day. Uh, gusts perhaps in the ballpark of 40 to 45 miles per hour in, over the next couple of hours, and we're getting colder tonight. 7 degrees is our forecast low in Lincoln, mostly clear skies overnight. Now I think we'll start off mostly clear tomorrow, but by afternoon we're going to have some more clouds arriving. We'll be cloudy for the afternoon. 16 degrees are high on Wednesday, so significantly colder tomorrow considering we got up to 51 degrees today. So Stormcast shows mostly clear skies tonight. They show mostly clear skies tomorrow morning, but here are those clouds we're talking about for the afternoon moving from west to east. Even notice some snow in the western part of the state uh, moving off towards the southeast, perhaps approaching the Tri-Cities in the ballpark of one to four o'clock. Now, evening computer model guidance has shifted this a little bit farther to the south and west, so it's looking a little less likely that Lincoln itself will see flakes, but if you head farther and farther southwest, the chance starts to increase. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but for those who do see snow, it looks like it starts to taper off as you go into the overnight hours. Maybe a lingering flurry early, early Thursday morning, but we are dry going into the mid-morning hours on Thursday. This is that same run we just looked at. You notice we're very close to the edge of it here in the capital city. Uh, let's say the storm system tracks 50 miles to the southwest. If that's the case, Lincoln's going to see absolutely nothing. And in fact, uh, we may see uh, just a dusting out towards Hebron, Fairbury, even out towards the Tri-City. So this is very sensitive to the track of the system as at the end of the day, a 50 mile shift in track really isn't all that much in the grand scheme of things. So we've shifted uh, the accumulation ranges a little bit farther to the south and west, not including Lincoln in this zero to one inch range. Now it is possible we could see a flake or two. We won't rule it out. We are close enough to the edge of this here, but it looks like this zero to one inch range will be just a little bit farther to the southwest. And if you are in this range, remember there's still a zero there. You still might not see anything at all as you head farther and farther west. That's where we have the better chance to see higher accumulations, especially once you get west of the Tri-Cities. So we cool off on Wednesday, 16 degrees, maybe an evening snow shower. It's looking like in Lincoln, this will be more just a couple of flakes perhaps in the evening hours, but not looking at any significant accumulations out of this. If we do see any accumulations, it'll likely be light accumulations on maybe some grassy surfaces. Cooler on Thursday, 11 degrees, still cool on Friday, 26 degrees, but starting a warming trend as we head in towards this weekend and into next week.